Welcome to Akai Advance. I'm Matt Vanacoro, and I'm going to take you through every aspect of this amazing MIDI controller, virtual instrument navigation, collaboration, and categorization system. The Akai Advance is not really one thing, not one piece of hardware, one piece of software, but more of a platform of integrated software and hardware that allows you to connect your keyboard to your virtual instruments in a way that really was a little bit more difficult before. There's a lot of ways that you can use the Akai Advance, and that's one of the reasons why we're going to spend a lot of time talking about the different tweaks and different hacks you can put together to get this thing working for you. Akai's goal in creating this was really to let you work the way that you want to work. With that in mind, they created the Akai Advance system so that there's a lot of different ways to accomplish what you want to accomplish. You can work the way you want to, map things the way you want them to be mapped. So we're going to take a look at the best way to do that, how to categorize your virtual instruments, how to use metadata to sift through them and find the sound that you're looking for at the click of a mouse, and how to do all of this from the keyboard without having to necessarily touch any of the software on your computer. That's one of the best aspects of this, is that we can do all this browsing right on the keyboard and keep your computer off stage if you want. Or you can do this in a studio and find ways to navigate through your massive list of patches like you never have before. I myself am starting to amass quite a bit, and I'm sure you are. I've got 24,883 different patches if you count up every patch from all the different instruments I have. So surfing through that to find one great bass patch that I liked can be a daunting task, and that's what Akai Advance and VIP is setting out to fix for us. So I'm going to show you the best way to make use of this instrument, whether you want to use it live or in the studio. Let's dive in.